and uh, we're going to keep doing what we always do, which is cook. Yeah. Uh, and again, as we mentioned, our, the, our friends from Waterman's are here to uh, make a rockfish. So yeah. don't forget to go into the HamptonRoadShow.com and uh, talk to us about your favorite Hampton Roadshow moments. I don't know, Carrie McVie may be responsible for some of our favorite recipes. You've been here a few times yes, in sir. our inaugural year, and it's nice to welcome you back today. Thank you very much. Uh, to make a, a rockfish, and you're preparing it in a way that folks probably uh, are familiar with having chicken, Francis. Right. But I haven't heard of rockfish, but I'm anxious to try it. It's very easy to prepare. Mm -hmm. um, shall we get going? We should just get going. But I know that um, as you, as you, well, first of all, tell us what we're working with and a little bit about our first step here. Well, I have some fresh rockfish. We actually caught on our boat, the Waterman. Uh, we have the uh, eggs, four eggs, uh, whipped like scrambled, some seasoned flour, butter, spinach, lemon, some wine, some seafood stock, and some seasonings. All right, and we're going to put that list of ingredients on our website, thehamptonroadshow.com. Now, you mentioned you caught the rockfish right off the waterman. It's rockfish season again, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And we're getting ready for the big tournament mm -hmm. uh, that we host the 6th, 7th, and 8th of January. Okay, so folks can come out and sign up to get out on a, uh, on a chartered boat? Or exactly. They work? can bring their own boat. They can oh. charter a boat from the fishing center. Okay. Uh, everybody's welcome. All right, so rockfish is in season. You should find it. If you're not out there catching it yourself, you should find it widely available the uh, grocery store or seafood market most definitely okay and yep. try making rockfish francaise what's the first thing that we do am uh, i even saying that right uh i call it franchise franchise okay right. then i'm going to call it franchise too okay. because you're a professional chef okay what I'm we're going to do we're going to take the fresh fillets okay and going to lightly dredge in the seasoned flour mm -hmm. and then we dip in the egg very important that you let the excess egg drain off Yes. And then we're just going to add it to the oil. Like and you go so. dry to wet. Exactly. Okay. So. Um, did you take great care? Is it important to keep the fillets about the same thickness for uh, even, even cooking? Exactly. Especially if you're cooking in the same pan. So mm -hmm. uh, these are all probably about a half inch thick. Okay. And we're going to cook four of them. It's about a pound and a half total. Mm -hmm. Does rockfish freeze well? I'm not a big fan of freezing fish, but uh, it does freeze better than some of the other fish, but mm -hmm. uh, we don't freeze it at all. Mm -hmm. We serve only fresh. I'm, um, I'm asking that question because I did. I, I got some rockfish around Thanksgiving and was going to cook it the night before Thanksgiving, thinking, you know, we won't do poultry without fish, and then my whole family talked me into ordering pizza. <laughs> so now I have this rockfish in the freezer, and I'm thinking I should take it out tonight and try to make francais with it. I mean, it'll be fine, but we just prefer to serve uh, fresh. Not as good as fresh. Okay, well, that's why I was asking. I, right. I figured you probably weren't freezing it at the restaurant. All right, I'll let you know how that turns out. <laughs> All right, we're back in the Hampton Virtual Kitchen with Carrie McBee, the executive chef at Waterman Surfside Grill this morning, making rockfish frances. Is that how you said it? That's it. Rockfish, Francis. Okay, so a couple things have happened while we were revisiting with Dr. Oz and all that. Uh, you've taken the oil out of the pan. Right. I sauteed the fish for about three, four minutes on each side, mm -hmm. and then I drained the oil off. I left just a little bit in, and now I'm ready to make the sauce. Okay. okay. And you're going to make it right in the same pan, right? Yes, I am. All right. Uh, I'm going to add some white wine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let that just cook down just for a few seconds here, cook some of the alcohol out. Yep. And just a little splash there, you're trying to drag up the flavor off the bottom of the pan? Exactly. Like to glaze the pan, it's mm -hmm. called. Then I'm going to add some seafood stock. Mm -hmm. You can actually use chicken stock. will work just as well. Okay. And then can we're you gonna buy seafood stock? Yeah. I'm sure you can buy base. It. You can buy base. Trader Joe's, uh, Harris Teeter has it. Like I said, uh, chicken, chicken base is more readily available, and you can use that, it too. It fine. Yep. Okay. I squeeze some lemon. I'm actually going to put a little bit more lemon in it. Okay. A little salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. And I was reading the recipe ahead of time. Fresh parsley. All right. Um, that you're going to add some floured butter in there. Instead of making a roux, I'm just going to take some uh, butter chunks, and I'm going to roll it in the flour, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to place three or four chunks in the pan and that'll help tighten up the sauce and thicken it up a little bit. So how come you can't just add butter and then add flour to it? It, it won't tighten it up. Okay. Flour will get lumpy and just it won't work. All right so flour here's a shortcut for the roux. Flour up the butter and then drop it in. Exactly. Okay. A little more seafood stock. Right, and then we're gonna. Than... I'm gonna make some spinach too. Excuse me, as an underliner for okay. the. Okay, uh, we can trade places. Rockfish. So this is 
um, a pretty fast meal, it's too. A, yeah, exactly. Okay. And the spinach cooks very quick. You can go ahead and put that in if you like. All of it? Yeah, please. Okay. And you mentioned, uh, oh boy, that garlic smells good. Um, you mentioned the tournament that's coming up, so don't forget to register for that if you're interested in taking part in the Rockfish Tournament. You can bring your own Rockfish home to cook it like this. But I know you also um, have some special things going on for New Year's Eve. Sure we do. And on the Rockfish also, you're welcome to bring in uh, fresh Rockfish, and we'll cook it for you. Uh, we generally make it three different ways and serve it with uh, potato and vegetable. And there's a small charge, but... Uh, you know, bring the fish in and we'll cook it for you. That's great. So that's day of the tournament each day or that's the whole thing all, is over? That's all year long. Anytime. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you can come into Waterman's with your little package of fish and you'll make dinner out of it. Exactly. We'll cook it three ways for you. That's great. And uh, also we have a New Year's Eve party coming in the attic upstairs. Uh -huh. Cheap Thrills is going to be playing. Uh, there is no cover charge. Uh, everybody's welcome. And we'll also have a special menu uh, for New Year's Eve for that evening. Okay. You're going to be serving breakfast once it uh, everybody turns into a pumpkin? Probably not. So. <laughs> You're on your own. Thanks. After you have dinner there, maybe an orange crush or two, call a cab if you have too many. Exactly. It's and usually it, a pretty fun night, though, there at the attic New Year's Eve. Definitely. It'll be a good time. Folks need to make a reservation for that. Would you recommend that? Uh, or, for dinner, definitely, but uh, everybody's welcome upstairs. All right, so till the fire marshal says enough, folks can come up to the attic. All right, we'll put the finishing touches on our rockfish and spinach uh, when we come back right now. Cheryl. Don't ask me why Antonio is focusing on the garnish when we've got, <laughs> when we've got this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, our meal is finished here. Kerry McPhee has been back. Uh, he's the executive chef at Waterman Surfside Grill this morning. And we finished our rockfish, rockfish franchise. Okay? So now it's time to plate. You said I can do the spinach part? Sure. And this didn't take long, long at all either. Not at all. And, and you kept it simple with the spinach, too, just a little, you know, white wine, a little garlic. Exactly. And then did you use butter or olive oil? I used olive oil. Okie doke. Is that enough for a little That's plenty. bed of spinach? All right. You did that part? Okay. Okay. Now, you had mentioned, and I just want people to remember that, if they take part in either the Rockfish the rockfish Tournament, or how often can folks charter the Waterman? Is that something that only happens during the tournament, or can people call and do that any time? Any time, you know, as long as the boat is available. Uh, you know, especially during Rockfish season, it's best to call ahead and, mm -hmm. you know, make a reservation with Mike. Mm -hmm. just to make sure you get a spot because we are very busy at that time of year. And again, you're saying that folks can bring their catch into the restaurant and you will cook it up for them. Exactly. All right. Um, and New Year's Eve, again, you're recommending folks do make a reservation for dinner. What's going to be on the special New Year's Eve menu? Uh, we're going to have rockfish franchise on the menu. Perfect. Okay. And uh, surf and turf, uh, peppered steak, a number of different things. Mm -hmm. And then you said the party upstairs, though, at the attic is something different. You, people don't need to have a reservation. Free parking. And Free valet parking, no mm -hmm. cover charge. Uh, Cheap Thrills is the band. I believe they start at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right, so pace yourself. It's going to be a long night. It's going to be a fun night up there at the attic. Thank you very much for coming in and sharing this recipe. And, again, just a couple of the reminders there for this um, recipe. You mentioned make sure before you start to make the sauce in the pan, get rid of the extra oil. Exactly. And to thicken up your sauce, flour the butter first and then put it in there. That's it. It's and very don't simple. freeze the rockfish <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you can help it. <laughs> all right, we will put all of the ingredients and the technique. Look, a little extra sauce on top. We'll put all of this at the HamptonRoadshow.com, including the details about the tournament and the things going on New Year's Eve at Waterman's. Thanks so much for coming back. Thanks and there for having is that me. Perfect lemon slice and the fresh uh, part. Is that parsley on mm -hmm. top? Yes, it is. To make it just perfect. Okay, we're going to give it a try coming up in just a few minutes.